Hi, Drew Thompson, market development agronomist with Pride Seeds, coming to you today from a demo plot in Elgin County. And today I want to talk to you about an exciting new genetic, brand new for the 2021 season, A7286G7. And I'm hoping that a lot of you are familiar with our G2 and our G8 genetics. G7 is something that's brand new to Pride Seeds, and it includes the Duracade traits. And, and so what are the Duracade traits? What is this G7? So the G7 is going to provide us above and below ground protection. Unique to the Duracade is novel proteins for that below ground protection. So brand new, you know, keep the, uh, the bugs guessing. But in the above ground protection, we also are going to include the Viptera trait, which is going to allow us control over Western bean cutworm. So essentially this is going to be comparable in that above and below ground to our existing G8, but now we've got new modes of action, new novel proteins, as well as we're going to pick up Western bean cutworm with, with the Viptera trait. So we're very excited about it. We've had the opportunity to look at it in the plots. It looks very strong agronomically, good spring vigor, good plant health. It's got an architecture that's a little bit more pendulum than we're used to in some of the pride seed lineup. But once it got into the reproductive phase and the tassel emerged, we did start to see that more traditional pride seed look of the upright leaf structure. So agronomically, everything looks impressive. When we were looking at the plot data, the small plot data in years gone by that helped advance this, very strong performance. So again, we are excited because not only are we going to bring top yielding genetics, we're also going to bring broader and novel uh, insect control to the marketplace. Most exciting about this is that the Duracade trait uh, is fully EU approved, so we don't have to worry about any uh, grain channeling restrictions. So that's very nice. As well, we have with this, we because we have the multiple modes of action for all of the pests that we're chasing, we are able to get away with the refuge in the bag. It means that we don't have to deal with structured refuge. It's gonna have the 5% refuge built in fill your planter and drive on. So we're gonna to have to wait for harvest to see how the grain looks and the quality and everything like that. But what we do know about this genetic is that it's a fairly blocky type ear. Uh, in this case, we've got 20 rows around and that's what we're probably looking at is 18 to 20 and sometimes up to 22. Uh, tends to be a bit narrower, longer, deeper kernel as opposed to some of those wider, flatter ones that we call that, that Midwestern corn. So we're pretty excited. We think that it's going to have uh, good grain quality what we've seen so far. But again, we're going to want to wait and see what the harvest shows. Please visit prideseed.com. Have a look at the tech sheet, but make sure to stay tuned and watch as the plot data starts to come in and just to see how this variety does run in the plots that we have scattered across both Ontario and Quebec.